Hello and welcome back to the Shadow Hearts Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we cleared the demon out of the Blue Castle, which turned out to be our own Yuri. And he faced himself in fox face form here. But, like I said in the previous episode, we now have loads of new fusions to try and acquire here. Unfortunately, we're one soul point off uh, getting the water one, but we do have the second level fusions for all of the others so i think without further ado let's let's try and do this now i need to look at what souls i've got equipped so we've got inferno here i'm trying to remember what combats what uh let's go for earth first why not from the seal of the grave, a soul glows with nearly light as if it was a soul. The new creature was born. Fight the fusion monster. Let's do this. So that's what we're doing today. We're trying to get the second things. And it looks like a type of matador. A mad bull is the second fusion. So I think without further ado, let's transform into Inferno and get this party started. And we're just going to attack first. And see how we do there. We'll do some physical, um, some spelling in a second if needs be. So what's the Mad Bull going to do? He's just going to attack normally. He hits harder than most. So getting these stronger forms is going to be helpful, of course. With uh, going on, what does Howling do? I'm guessing it's some sort of buff. Is it going to be physical defense? Okay, no, it's a heal. That is very annoying. But we should be okay. As we get a knockdown. And it's just an attack again. 85 this time. We should be okay. I'm not worried too worried about my health right now. Might be an idea to go to Mandragon because obviously he has the healing spell. But these are going to be a lot harder. Earthguard, does this raise physical defense? Yes, it does. That is very annoying. Okay, let's just do a fireball then. Almost a perfect. As we're almost there, Rockstorm. Just got to pray this doesn't hit too hard. 107. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. And pray that this lands a critical blow. It doesn't. Okay, we need to very be careful. Okay, just one attack there. Surely this will do it now. If not, I've messed up. <laughs> there we go. Taking us down to the wire. But we have our first fusion of the day. We got the Soul of Mad Bull. So, of course. A feeling of spite grows over you. You've received the Soul of Mad Bull. What does it say? Seal of Earth, Earth is carved here. Okay. That was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, seeing as we've got this new soul... We should go ahead and equip him on here. Let's take out Inferno and take on Mad Bull. And I think without further ado, let's head over here to the fire one. So, from the seal of a grave, the soul glows with an eerie light as if the soul of a new creature was born. We shall certainly fight this fusion monster. So in the last episode, we got the dark gravestone as well, which will allow us to gain the ultimate forms when we get them. But what are we fighting here? An Ifrit, of course, someone that we probably... If you've played any Final Fantasy game, <laughs> you're probably well aware of Ifrit. So, let's do a Rock Storm. Start off here. As that does 100 damage. As we get a miss, which is actually very handy. Let's see how we're doing on the old. Physical attack front here with Mad Bull. 78. So about 100. So about the same really as the previous form. As we go against Ignition here. 
physical attack power up. I think it might not be the worst idea to go for an Earth Guard. As we get a perfect one. Physical defense power up like 36%. Blaze feels like it's going to be his special attack. Hundred and two. That is certainly dealable. Right, so let's just try again with some more physical attacks. Hammer away here. As he's on a weakened stance. Oof, that did cane a little bit, but we should be okay. Let's go for another rock storm. So there we go, 175. 99 there. I think we do not risk it and just go for fair relief to ourselves here. I think that's a smart thing to do. As we're going to go ahead here. Boom. As we get a strike, and that is it. Ifrit now joins the party. And we have got ourselves the fusion soul of Ifrit. So with that, an accursed feeling spreads within you. You receive the soul of Ifrit. So, let's go ahead and equip Ifrit on the old soul page here. We'll get rid of Mandragon. And take on Ifrit. Flame wielding mid level spirit. Uh, form so mid level spirit formed from a flaming soul and a fire demon. Its powers have been witnessed in many cultures of many different names. There we go. So traditionally, if it's been a ball within the Final Fantasy games, not too sure about here. Right, I think the next one up is from. Try and end up doing the light from the seal of the grave. A soul glows with nearly light. We shall certainly go ahead and fight this fusion monster. As this time it doesn't look like a sea slug <laughs> with uh, a sea slug with wings. It appears something slightly even weirder actually. So, what is it? Baldo is what it's called. Uh, let's just attack physically here. I think this makes the most sense. Maybe I'll do a fighting spirit at a later point. But I'm guessing this thing will have healing spells. 78, that's not too, too thing. Let's do ignition. Why not? Set ourselves up nicely. As we get a perfect one as well. He appears not to be like a bull here, but more like a, a flaming snake man. <laughs> a little bit odd. I'm not going to try and risk it for the perfect there. Just going to take the heal while I can. And then we'll go ham on this guy next turn. So let's go ahead and do this. Three goods. As we see with that ignition, we really do hit bloody hard. Elder Sign, what do you do? I'm guessing this is the healing spell. Special attack. Special defense power is all good because we are... Physical attacker here with Ifrit. So that special special defense is not going to really do much here. Grace. This is probably the healing spell. It's what I'm waiting for, isn't it? I'm guessing it's going to heal like in an hour each time. 200. Woo. Okay. If that's a spell that targets all of your party, like the uh, Heaven's Feet one is, then that's going to be very, very handy. As there we go. Baldo joins the squad. Not sure... Not sure exactly what Baldo comes from. I've not heard of it as a thing before. A feeling of repentance fills your heart. You receive the soul of Baldo. Go. Let's have a quick look at... Baldo will, of course, equip Baldo now. 
Heaven's Fiend off. Baldo, where are you? Here. So let's see with this thing. Mid level spirit of light and stars. The living incarnation of the adventurous soul. Excels in healing those in need. Uh, ooh, that grace. Medium amount of HP to all allies. That is a nice, nice spell to have. So, instead of Heaven's Fiend, we'll take Baldo. We didn't actually look at what Mad Bull's things were. Well, mid-level spirit formed by the wounding spirit of a bull. Wielding rocks, it leaves a wake of destruction. Cool. So, before we take on the dark, we're going to do the... We're going to do ourselves the earth fusion here. Very annoyed that we haven't got the water one, but oh well. So, what have we got here? We see a new creature. We will, of course, fight the monster. Let's see what we get. This appears to be some sort of bird. Icarus. Okay. We'll go out to Bulbo. Why not? <laughs> and see what they can do. Nova. Let's hit him with some light. Oh, let's get a perfect. That's 200. That is a very nice thing. So, with the wind fusion monsters, you know what they're going to do is try and outspeed you just to attack more than you can. But again, it doesn't matter how strong it is. As long as we've got that healing magic, we should be okay. Unless it hits for like 150 each turn, then we might be screwed. But we should be. We should be fine. This Nova seems like a handy little attack as well. Let's just keep on hitting it with this. I'm trying to figure out the design of this uh, light fusion. It's rather odd, it must be said. 141 there. As it appears, Icarus might be on his last legs. So let's go ahead and just attack with Baldo. Lightning, okay. I think I might actually prefer the um, design of the uh, first, uh, is it Tornado? The first wind fusion to this one. And there we go. Tornado is joining the crew. Oh, it's not Tornado. Icarus, sorry. So, let us see the soul that we have. A desire to run away from royals. Royals? Within you. <laughs> You've received the soul of Icarus. There we go. Uh, let's have a quick look. I'm not going to equip him. I'm going to keep Baldo on for the next fight. But let's just have a quick read over... Where are you? Icarus here. So, formed of the lofty souls of a harmonic sir and a bird demon, it, the beat of its powerful wings are said to be felt even in the underworld. There we go. So, we've got one left. Ooh. A small grave appeared without noticing it. It appeared without my noticing it. There we go. Hmm. How very odd. Uh, that might be... It's probably a reference to the fact that we have got that final... Um, We've got that final, uh, final form gravestone that we need for when we do eventually get the final summons of these. So, from the seal of the grave, a soul glows. Should we fight the fusion monster? Let's do this. So, obviously, the first dark fusion is Death Emperor. This looks somewhat similar. What are you? Sharon. I have no idea what Sharon is, but let's go out to the ball, though. We'll play the type advantages here. I probably, thinking about it, should have put a Leonardo Bear on in order to not get that automatic death effect, but we'll see if I end up regret doing that. Kind of looks like Diablo. Mind Assault. Okay. What do you do? Okay, you take away MP. That should actually be fine. Because I already healed up the MP from last time. As we get another perfect.
I think keeping the ones we've got right now is probably not the bad idea. Actually, I might change out. I might bring this uh, Sharon um, with me. Special tower up. Yeah, special attacks up by a whole bunch. I'm just going to attack with another Nova. And then we'll see how much... Maybe it might be worth doing the Elder Sign Guard afterwards. But no, there we go. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So we've got the Solar Sharon. Not a name I'm familiar with. Uh, traitorous Impulse wells up inside of you. You receive the Solar Sharon. So, Sharon, what do you do? Uh, let's take off Mad Bull and take on Sharon. So, formed from a rancorous spirit and a pit fiend, its hard bones and sharp claws leave those who face it shuddering with dread. Um, so, Mind Assault takes away MP, Devil's Always Special Attack, and attacks all enemies with living darkness with nightmare. So, let's equip those three. Again, I unfortunately do not have the uh, water one there. Just one point away. <laughs> but I think with that, let's head back here into the world and I'll say that I'll see you guys next time where we go to Prague. Peace.